Well, we are just hours away from the start of the weekend, and there are so many fun events happening. If you love Halloween and good movies, we've got you covered. Michael Giuliano, editor at Time Out Los Angeles, is here with us, and he's got some top picks. Hi there, Michael. Hi. So we're going to start out with Knights of the Jack. Yeah. So not only is it the start of the weekend, mm -hmm. it's basically the start of Halloween yes. this weekend. And yes. Knights of the Jack is back. And now if you're unfamiliar, this is basically an almost mile long pumpkin trail mm. uh, in the hills of Calabasas. Uh -huh. Hundreds upon hundreds of uh, pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns that have been carved mm -hmm. to light up this trail. Basically, you just walk it at your own pace. It'll take about an hour uh -huh. and you'll see some live carvings along the way. Also for adults, there's a spook easy, which okay. is a okay. Halloween themed bar. Okay. Um, it's worth mentioning too that this is not the only Halloween event this yes. weekend. Um, yes. Hauntoween starts in Woodland Hills. There's this okay. new Shacktoberfest oh. event in Long Beach. Just about every pumpkin patch opens as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this is kind of a great one to start with. Very family yes. friendly. That's what I was going to so, say. It's yeah. family friendly. Absolutely. For big chickens like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then you also have like a family movie. Nice. Yeah, this, I think this is another great sort of entryway into mm -hmm. Halloween time. Um, so Leica is this amazing stop motion animation company uh, okay. and the Academy Museum is hosting screenings from mm. them all month long. Um, so they have these Saturday matinees where for only five dollars you can go and watch these films. Oh. So it starts this Saturday with Missing Link and then continues throughout the month with movies like uh, Box Trolls, Paranorman, Coraline, Kubo and the Two Strings. Uh, these are all really, really fantastic films. Uh, if I'm going to tease a little later in the mm -hmm. month, if you go a little closer to Halloween, they have a screening of Paranorman uh, with some of the creators of the film there. And they'll be hosting fun workshops about like costumes, I think teaching you how to um, make a toilet paper zombie, which oh, I'm okay. kind of curious uh, yeah. to find out what exactly that yeah. is. But yeah, really great kid-friendly way to ease into Halloween season. Okay, next you've got CatCon. Is yes. this what I'm thinking it's, all about cats? It is exactly what you think it is. Okay. Uh, this is Saturday and Sunday at the Pasadena Convention Center. Uh, it's actually been there a whole bunch of times, so it's exciting to have it return. Uh, this is an event for people who love cats and internet famous cats <laughs> and cat merchandise all things cats. Um, so you can meet uh, celebrity cats, like there's this ragdoll cat named Merlin that has this ridiculously angry face, it's adorable. <laughs> um, and then there's all sorts of photo ops. There's this like kitsch living room filled with uh, cat decor. You can actually okay. bring some of your own stuff to get it evaluated. Wow. Um, you know, things to buy. Of course, there's cat adoptions. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Um, if you okay, do cute. not like cats at all, which mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I love cats, so okay, I hope too. you do. But um, there is also actually a similar event for dogs going on oh, this weekend. the same at LA, weekend. At LA State Historic Park on okay. Sunday, there's Pupween, um, okay. which is kind of a similar thing, but for dogs. So okay. you've got both options going okay. on. Okay, and you got something for fans of the big cats. The zoo. The big, yes. <laughs> All right. Don't trip you up there, huh? <laughs> <For a second. laughs> um, yeah, so another Halloween kickoff. It is a Boo at the LA Zoo. Mm -hmm. Now, this runs the entire month daily, but you really want to go on weekends. That's when the bulk of the programming is. Uh, so it's an opportunity to go around the zoo. You know, they'll have some decorations up, but on weekends, that's when you'll see things like fun, sort of creepy education talks. Um, they have uh, different feedings. So mm -hmm. you can see here, like this weekend, uh, the meerkats, the tapirs, some of the elephants, basically gonna give pumpkins and theme treats like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then another one that I'll tease, if you go later in the month, the last two weekends of October, they'll have trick or treating. Oh, uh, nice. And all that is included with regular admission to the zoo, which makes it a pretty good deal, I think. Yes, lots of fun stuff happening. It, Paul is really here. Thanks so much, yeah. Michael. And of course, you can find more information about the events we just talked about by going to kcal9.com and clicking Scene on TV.